Indie Mogul. This episode of Indie Mogul is brought to you by Friday the 13th in theaters February 13th. I had a dream. There were children. I think they were trying to warn us. Your daughter got it in her mind somehow that your fiance killed the family she worked for. Look at this. We need to find out who Rachel Summers really is. Four weeks into 2009 and this is already the third horror film to be released by Hollywood. I blame Asia and you should too. Ever since the success of 2002's The Ring, Hollywood has been remaking successful Asian horror films left and right. But they're not all as successful as The Ring. The only people terrified by Dark Water, The Eye and Shudder were those in Hollywood as all three failed miserably at the box office. Who keeps making these movies? A man by the name of Roy Lee. Lee makes his money by convincing Asian distributors that we Americans don't want to see Asian language horror films, so said distributors should sell him the rights to their hit horror films. Lee then takes those rights and sells them to Hollywood as proven material since the films did so well in the Asian markets. Uh, I'd be cool seeing the original Asian films. Hell, they'd have to make more money than some of their American counterparts. But of course, everybody assumes they have the next The Ring. And who knows, maybe they do. I'm sure Elizabeth Banks would love to be the next Naomi Watts. One, they'd say nothing at all and ignore me. Two, they misunderstand me and think I'm inviting them to see a movie. Three, they tell me they didn't see a movie while holding a bag of popcorn. Four, they can't remember the movie title and I have to ask them who was on screen. And the number five reason is, they tell me there's no movie theater where we're standing. And that's behind the scenes with Beyond the Trailer. See you after the break. Friday, February 13. How did Elizabeth Banks do as a villain? Surprisingly well. She was pretty good. It was totally unexpected, actually being a villain. She was all right. What was wrong with her? Um, nothing really. It was just, I could have waited until it got on DVD. It's probably one of the best horror movies I've ever seen in my life. I was a little bored in, the, in certain, certain parts of the movie, but I like the ending, so that made up for it. I'm still thrown by the ending. Ooh, was it that much of a twist? Yeah. I thought it was going to be more scarier. Oh, it wasn't scary? No. Oh. I could have brought my kids to that one. <laughs> yeah. Really? What, what do you want from a PG-13? You know, they can't show you as much blood and guts, but with the limited amount of stuff they could show, perfect. Hollywood's convinced that we Americans don't want to see foreign language films. Do you think uh, that's true? I don't think that's true. No. No, that's not true at all. You know, especially it opens up the possibilities. We're not the only ones that make movies. And we got to see different cultures and different ideals that, because, you know, we think we're open-minded, but this is when it really gets open-minded, when we see what other studios and other countries are doing. This is a, a remake of an Asian horror film. Would you have preferred just to see the original Asian horror I film? I think so, yeah. I probably, it might have been, a, it probably would have been more scarier. For me, it would be a rental, but other people I know would definitely want to see it in theaters. What do you give the movie on a 1 to 10? 7-5. Since the ending was, was pretty good, I'll give it a, an 8. A 1. Ooh. And 10. Ooh. Considering a PG-13, it's going to have to be about a 9. So it might not be The Ring, but it looks like Hollywood has done the original justice as audiences give this remake a 7. And The Uninvited is the focus of this week's One Sentence Review Challenge. If you've seen the movie, leave a 1 to 10 rating below as well as your One Sentence Review. The best one will be featured this Sunday on Movie Math. And Beyond the Trailer is out here every week covering every major release. So if you never want to miss an episode, be sure to subscribe to Beyond the Trailer's channel by clicking right here. I'm Grace Randolph and you've just gone Beyond the Trailer.